uh, Peter Roga from Sound Transit, and Councilmember Berry, and then Mayor Stokes, and then Mayor Kristen. I'm going to try to be very brief. I want to ping off something that, that Judy pointed out, and that is the additional, if, if you will, excess money that is now sitting in the I-405 pot from, um, from the tolling regime. And while you know there's a lot of heat, light, and noise um, and politics around that whole tolling exercise, it did point out one thing, and that is there's a universe of users that are ready to pay more. And maybe as difficult as that is politically, we need to, if you really want to address some of these challenges, we need to recognize that there is um, there is money being left on the table. On that whole issue of leaving money on the table, I will tell you it is the policy of the Sound Transit Board to start moving in the direction of charging for parking. We now have a baby step in which we are selling basically guaranteed spots for HOV using parkers at about 10 of our uh, garages. You can now, for a very low fee, have a guaranteed spot, including those garages that fill up at, normally fill up at 7.30 if you will have multiple users coming to use the garage. So, you know, here again, money left on the table that we can start commanding to start reinvesting without necessarily an act of the legislature. Finally, I want to put one idea on the table because I may be the only one at the table who politically can safely put this pro proposal out there. You got her attention. Right. Well, I just, I had this experience this morning. I was driving uh, south on I-5 for a regular 7.30 breakfast I had with my Pierce County board members, and I had a staff person in the car. Mayor Crystal. I have two things I'd like to offer. Uh, first is just a simple... Second thing, though, I'd like to respond a little bit to Mr. Rogoff. Um, you said a lot of things in there that didn't sit very well, me personally, and I'll explain why. You did SB3 and vote for that. It was 80% positive in Seattle. It was not 80% positive on the east side by any means. In fact, most of the cities voted against it. Maybe not by a lot, but they voted against it. And when I hear you say that, well, we're going to start charging the people that have to drive, which is mostly people from the east side, to enter into the system, we want to charge them more. They're already paying more than most of those people in Seattle. So I'd really like you to think of that, all right? South Transit did not cover the entire area that's paying for it. But it's voted in, great. We're going to try to support it, and I hope it's extremely successful. And I come from an area that...